that have to be Pat Fibbs. I think it's just that Australian coming out in it. Um, I'll have to say Ian Humphreys. He's, um, he just complains if, if things don't go his way. He'll complain. And, um, I actually, I think it's out of him and Marlon Yard. Marlon Yard is a bit of a moaner as well. Uh, it's always have to be the way that they want it, or or has to benefit them. So uh, I think they, I'm sort of hearing their voices. So into before we go get to Richard Palferman, if he's not complaining about being injured, he's complaining about someone else. So. Hard man, there's uh, no doubt. It's Chris Hadfield. He's been the hard man. Ever since he's come into the club, uh, I think he's a hard man for a number of the premiership sides. Tom Smallburn would probably want to put his hand up from the academy, but I don't think he can uh, top Chris Alafia. Um, a lot of you wouldn't know, but uh, Tom Homer is actually very intelligent. He's quiet and uh, picks his times. Um, I'll have to say, I think Andrew Fimby. He seems pretty, pretty onto it. Uh, from the academy, Tom Smallbone, I and mean, he's studying geography, so he's up there. Uh, biggest joker in the team, uh, I think Darren Allison plays a good couple of practical jokes from time to time. Biggest joker, uh, Thomas O'Leary, he's a, you just look at him and, and, and you know he's up to something, he's always got something on, on the go, um, but I think Thomas O'Leary. And biggest joker, probably Jeb Sinclair, you can't really keep him quiet, so. Um, I think uh, at the moment, now you see a lot in the gym now, they're working really hard, it's uh, Halani Alika. Uh, he's been out for a while, but he's, he's put in some hard yards now. The hardest worker, I'll probably say, would be Fergus. Fergus is, uh, you know, he's, he, he, he works hard off the field in the gym, you know, he's doing it always doing his extras, um, and it shows on the field as well. Probably Rousey, just a lot of like, feral shift in every training session. Best dress, uh, well, I'll, I'll take myself out of that because that'd be a bit biased, but I'd say um, who's. Uh, I, I think I've slowly started to get uh, Karen Lowe bringing uh, his jeans again a bit tighter, the skinny jeans are coming in, so I'd have to say that. Uh, the best dress, uh, I think James O'Connor's come in with some, some pretty cool styles, so, uh, obviously he's from the Southern Hemisphere, so it's a bit different, not, not your usual. Um, uh, pieces of clothing that you get here in, here in England, so I'm, I'm liking his style. Uh, Ed Hurdley thinks he's got some good fashion with his red shoes and his black jeans he likes to wear out, so... Jepson clear hands down. Thomas again, he, he, he loves, he loves um, jeans and, and trainers, but he's, he's got some weird socks on or, or his leather jacket that he loves so much as well. Scotty told me about that. Uh, I think uh, J Johnny Harris, uh, once you put, put him down in a corner, you can tell a good story, you know, he's, he's, a, he's quite a chatterbox. It's a hard one. There's a few storytellers, but I'll have to go with... Oh, oh can I pass on that one? <laughs> Scotty Moore's got a fair, fair old stories up his sleeve if you get him talking. Best things was, it, it was Richard Powerman, but he is... Uh, very recently been overtaken by Tom Smallbone. Uh, we'll probably be Richard Palferman. He loves a good sing song. Uh, Richard Palferman. If you get him singing, you won't get us get him stopped. We should join the X Factor. Who likes to put it out there? I think, uh, well, it's quite easy actually now to think about the smiling, yeah. Marlon. Loves himself. Show up. You hate me for saying it, but mild in your heart. <laughs> uh, again, I'll take myself out of that one. Um, I'd have to say the laziest um, would probably be be the laziest in the It's a tough one. I'm not too sure. I don't want to name names. It's a tough one. There's a fair few boys who like to skip training. So. To, be fair, to be honest, there's not many lazy guys. I'd probably put myself up in there, but uh, 
you know, everyone's working hard, so no one really 